Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss second type of um, counting. Uh, we call it permutations. Okay. Um, permutations are a little bit different than the uh, combinations, uh, where combination they don't require any uh, orders but permutations unlike combination order of the uh, objects are very important so if you want to compare the uh, com uh, permutation with the combinations permutation has more ways to uh, order you know uh, to have the uh, uh, counting ways compared to the uh, combinations, okay? Um, there are three ways we can use permutation to, uh, you know, count the objects. The first case is that uh, to find the uh, number of arrangement of n different items with all of them uh, to be used in different arrangements. In other words, that if you have, like, objects, those objects must be involved uh, generating uh, arrangements okay <coughs> so if that's the case then we have to use n factorial now i think we have to talk about factorial a little bit here so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you briefly <coughs> excuse me that okay so zero oh sorry okay so zero factorial is equal to one and the one factorial is also one and the uh, two factorial is one times two and the uh, three factorial is one times two times three and 4 factorial means 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. And this will be a 24. And this will be 6. And you know, you can kind of go through that. So the important thing here is that, you know, uh, the... <coughs> excuse me. Factorial is not a number. So let me just write that up here. It's just a symbol, okay? So factorial is not a number, okay? So that means then you, you cannot cancel out the factorial. You cannot, you know, divide. You cannot multiply. You just have to convert that into the number. Okay? So, for example, if I have, let's say, uh, I have uh, 24 factorial over, let's say, uh, uh, I don't know, 22 factorial. Now, this is not me, this is not the same as if you're just going to divide by 2, you, you know, like 12 factorial over 11 factorial. You cannot do that because factorial is not a number. So the way you're going to do that is going to be you want to start multiplying one times, two times, all the way to the times 22, times 23, times 24. And the bottom, same thing. We multiply uh, one times, two times, all the way to the 22. So now you can cancel out from the uh, um, well, 1 up to 22 and uh, top and bottom so the uh, whatever remaining 23 times 24 is the uh, answer there so using this factorial the case number one saying that if all the items are get, going to get involved then you're just going to find out what the total number of items are then you just to the factorial. So the first example is that find the possible ways to go through the following cities, uh, Sacramento, Merced, Fresno, and Bakersfield. So there are four cities. 
they're all going to get involved, so that would be 4 factorial, which is a 24 ways, right? Okay, case number 2 is that um, you have a total number of items n, but you are selecting all from that. If that's the case, then you're going to have to use the formula called NPR, okay, it's right here. And if you see it, if I rewrite this, that would be look like this. N, P, R here. There would be a N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. Okay? So if you have, let's say, uh, uh, four flags, for example, let's say we have one, two, three and four okay so let's say we have a different colors here so you got a blue a red then you got black and then you have a yellow something like that right so if you want to you have a four different flags here and you are going to pick three at a time and how many, if you do that, how many possible ways are out there? Okay? So that means that, you know, this is going to be, should not be there. Okay? So that should be a four total flags, and you're selecting three at a time. So that's what the R is. You are select, that's the selections. So that means the, according to the formula here, so N is the four flag, four factorial. Then n minus r will be 4 minus 3 factorial, which is 1 factorial. And that's just going to be a 1, right? And now, the answer is going to be 4 factorial, so that's supposed to be 24, not 4. Okay, so that was supposed to be 24 different ways. Uh, case 3 is that if you have, like, identical items, but, you know, they are different colors. Okay, if that's the case, you just find out what's the total number of items, that would be n, then n1, n2, all the way to nk, that would be the uh, different color uh, objects, okay? So, for example, if we have the uh, identical tennis balls here, but with a different color, so if you look at this one here, uh, we have uh, six yellow ones, right? And we got the uh, three green balls, I think. Uh, I think there's a four green balls here, but you cannot see that there. So we got four uh, green balls and three red balls. Okay, so they're all same, identical, so different color. So what we have here is going to be a uh, total number of items. It's going to be six plus four plus three. You got 13. And that's why you see the 13 factorial on the top. Then we have uh, six yellow balls, which is six factorial, uh, four factorial, which is for the uh, green, and the uh, three factorial for the red. The easiest way to uh, calculate the factorial like this is that you just uh, go to your, uh, uh, you know, your calculator, just type 13 and then factorial, and after that, you divide six factorial. Okay, whatever you're going to get from that, okay, then you're going to divide, uh, what is it, 4 factorial. So whatever you're going to get from that, you're going to divide by uh, 3 factorial. Okay, that would be the easiest way to find the uh, uh, permutation now. Okay, so once again, permutations order is very important. Okay. So if you have any uh, uh, you know, counting problems that, you know, uh, asking that, asking you that, you know, or telling you that uh, order is important, then you're going to have to uh, apply the permutations, okay? Now, there will be some examples or, or cases that, you know, uh, there may be or may not be, uh, you know, in terms of the uh, orders, uh, you know, uh, whether they are important or not, you know, this is going to be uh, uh, you know, your call. If you think that that's going to be uh, important, then you're going to have to apply the permutation. If not, then, you know, you're going to have to use some other common methods. Okay? 
So uh, once again, you know, make sure that if you want to use the permutations, okay, order is very important. Okay, so you have to uh, find out which case that you're going to have and then you're going to have to apply the uh, simple formula that you see on the screen. All right. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.